Hello friends. So today's video is finally going to be the versus video where we take different editions of the same book or series and then show different ones. And I used to do this where I would take only five and then all of you could let me know which one is your favorite, but I wanted to bring the series back and revamp it where I can purchase as many physical copies of the books as I can possibly get my hands on, show you what they look like in person, and then you can get an idea if you're a book collector, and you're wanting to get these, where you can get them, how much they cost. I'll have all of that information for all the ones that I show you in the description bar down below as well, in case I forget to say anything here. But even if you're not a book collector and you just wanna see some different editions, then hopefully you will find this video really interesting. This is my first one that I'll be doing since having revamped them. And if you have any suggestions or things you would like to see in future ones, feel free to let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions. Originally, I was planning on starting this series with the Shades of Magic because that series has so many different editions but we had some hiccups when it comes to uh, me ordering a certain copy. So that one's actually gonna be second. And we're gonna start today, of course, like the title says, with Red Rising. So we'll get to the uh, Shades of Magic ones soon. Either way, I am not being paid to do this, but I did reach out to Juniper Books and I have a discount code for all of you that will work for both Red Rising and Shades of Magic. So I'll have that in the description bar down below. And speaking of Juniper Books, we might as well start with their Beautiful book sleeves for Red Rising. If you don't know the way that Juniper Books works is you can do one of two things. You can purchase the books with their custom sleeves or you can just purchase the sleeves. And what you would do then is you would take the original sleeves off and then you just put these sleeves on. For Red Rising, they have this amazing, very bold, vibrant yellow and red with this dark kind of blue gray color throughout. And then on the spines, of course, that's kind of their thing. It all goes together. So it says Red Rising when you put them together. And then each of them on the cover the front cover has the same kind of look with just the title that's different. So they're really meant to be very appealing when you see them on the shelf, which I think they absolutely are. I think they look amazing. Anytime I have family members come over and I show them, they always are like, wow, that's really cool. And I'm like, yeah, they have a bunch. Also, I know that this doesn't actually matter when it comes to the look of the sleeves or anything like that, but they are so nice. <laughs> when I emailed them, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so understanding too, the fact that it's been taking so long for me to get these different editions. So I just always think it's nice to know when people are nice and they're very, very nice. But anyway, I think that these look absolutely incredible. They feel very velvety. I know that's a thing for a lot of people. They like that creamy, buttery feeling for their books. And these definitely feel very, very buttery. When it came to actually putting the sleeves on, it was very easy. It was not difficult whatsoever. The way they line up, I think looks absolutely incredible. So Juniper Books, you can buy just the sleeves or you can buy the books with the sleeves. You get different price points depending on if you have one or the other. They also say the number of which book you have. So for Golden Sun on this little inside flap, it says two of three, which I think is just a nice little detail in case you forget or in case you have somebody who comes over and wants to look or something. I just think it's a fun detail. We started with a fun one with Juniper Books, but getting into the editions that we generally think of, I think when we imagine Red Rising, these are the covers that come to mind. So we have here, Red Rising, just the, the red wing on it. And then we have Golden Sun and Morning Star. I've personally always liked the Red Rising trilogy, the look of them. I think they're simple, but they're bold at the same time. And sometimes I like when they air on the simple side. I think it gives it a very nice, clean, crisp look. I like the consistency from one cover into the next when it comes to the spines. The fonts are all basically in the same place. I like the symbols at the top. It gives them a little bit of a unique trait from one book to the next, as well as the color being different from one book to the next. What I find really interesting about the different Red Rising editions is despite the fact that Red Rising is so popular, most of the editions that you will see still hold these same colors from one book to the next. So you'll have Red Rising will be red, Golden Sun is gold, and then you get it. But we also don't really see that much variety in the symbols. To prove that point, we have this particular edition. I 
wanted to hold up each of the individual books next to the English one so that you can see the fact that they look quite similar. I actually really like this has almost a, a more stylized look to it, and I kind of dig it. The text for this one has it going vertically, where this one has it more traditionally horizontal, but something about the wing to me is just more appealing on this one. I'd love to know if you agree or disagree with that. Once again, I actually kind of like the look of the image on the second one than I do on this one. This one, I like the boldness of the colors on it, but something about this, I think it's in the shading. Something in the shading almost makes it look animated in a sense. And then here we have Morning Star. I really like the blue in this one. It's kind of almost purple in the background, and I think it looks incredible. I think that's another thing I really like about this edition is that this one, they're all kind of this matte black with a color somewhere, whereas this one, the color is actually in the background. Let me get the other ones really quick. So this one, the image is yellow and it's got a hint of kind of yellow brown in the background. This one, the red, not as much. This one's more just black, but then the blue one has more of a blue. You can see the difference when I hold them up side by side. And I, I kind of like that. I think it gives them where they all go together really nicely. So it's very cohesive, but they also are a little bit like I'm the second book. I'm the third book in the series. See, I'm different. Now on to this edition. again very similar to what we are accustomed to spines are very consistent throughout basically all of the different red rising editions which i really really like i know a lot of us bookworms are very picky about the consistency from the spines as to where the text the author's name all those sorts of things where the symbols line up so this one has the symbols more centered which i really like this one more so follows the english ones in that it is black they're all black and then they have the same imagery, but the imagery is just a little bit different. So these ones, I think, look more mechanical. There's something about them that screams sci-fi a little bit more than the previous ones. And it's very similar, very similar to the original, but once again, like I said, has a mechanical look to it, which I like. Holding up for a comparison so you can see the difference. This one also, somehow the black is just more black. It's deeper and it makes the red, even though the red is brighter on this one, the red to me, it doesn't stand out more, but something about it is just, it pulls me in more a little bit. Like it almost looks more uh, 3D than this one does. The second one, I do like the first one in this edition a little bit more than the second one. I find this is, again, this particular edition is very, very similar to the English ones. And then Morning Star. You can see the difference between these, and they're just a little different. They're just a little extra special, and I really like them. Wanted to add really quick that the books also came with these bookmarks, and they came with other bookmarks as well. Some were Red Rising specific, and then sometimes they're just bookmarks. And I've ordered from this website a few times now in trying to do some prep for this video series, and every time they come packaged like presents and the books always come with bookmarks. So I'll have that website linked down below if you are interested in getting different editions. I highly recommend them. They're so charming with their packaging and it's great to be able to get some bookmarks too. Really quick, this next one, a big thank you to one of my subscribers. When I mentioned I would be doing this video series, they reached out to me and sent me this edition, which I was like, whoa, I'd never seen this edition before. It is so cool. And it comes, I don't know why, but a lot of them have this additional piece right here. I found that to be true of different editions from different places in general. So I don't really know what that is, but here's what it looks like without that. I thought this was really cool. I don't have the entire trilogy. I just have Red Rising. I think it looks awesome. Just doesn't look anything like the other ones that I've shown you, but I was really surprised when I got it in the mail. I was like, wow, that looks so different. And how cool does it look to see the other language? I just think it's really incredible. I really like I really, really like when books are more accessible to people who speak different languages. I think it's amazing. Now for the one that my wallet was not happy about, and that would be the Fairy Lou edition.
when making this series, I wanted to be able to let you know how much a lot of these things cost. Obviously the shipping and everything is gonna be different depending on where you live, but these ones are basically impossible to find for an affordable price. So the only reason that I purchased these was because of this video series. I'm using money that I make through Patreon or sponsors and things like that to fund these these videos that I'm gonna be doing, including this one. And these were so expensive. I would never pay this much for books, even if I really love them. I would probably never pay this much if I weren't doing something like this. So if you can find them, for less than what I paid for them. Congratulations, because they are very hard to find. So Fairy Loot is a subscription book box that occasionally puts out special edition books that are not a part of the subscription. They're just fancy editions that you can get. And I did not, I missed my chance. I did not purchase these when they were originally available. And so if you go on to buy trade sell groups or buy sell trade groups uh, via Facebook or things like that, that's where you're most likely going to be able to find them. So either way, enough of that. Let's look at the books themselves because they're so beautiful. <laughs> so I think these look amazing. They all have sprayed edges on the pages. That's what sprayed edges are. It's right into the naked hardback and it looks amazing. It, sh it shines in the light and then it has a quote on the back. Each of the books have a quote and I think it looks so good. Glad I have them, but <laughs> like I said, I wouldn't have paid that much normally, but <sighs> they just look so good. Here's the second one, Golden Sun. Has the uh, shininess to it, of course, like all of them. You get it, you get how these work. They're very cool. There's the quote on the back. This one has a different, uh, and it's interesting because the first one has uh, red and then this one kind of has a purpley color, which I think is different. I would have expected they would have gone gold or something like that. And then Morning Star, here's the look. Very shiny, very cool, blue sprayed edges. And when you put them all together, the spines all have something that that goes together. So we'll look, let's look at the spines one more time. Here they are all together. If you have them all together on the shelf, you will see that. It looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Fairy Loot did a great job with these. So cool. Those are all the ones that I own physically now. And so jumping into ones that I did not purchase, but that I still wanted to show just because I think it would be really fun. And all of you can let me know which one your favorite is. For the rest of these, I have my husband accompany me. He happens to be the best husband ever. <laughs> and he's gonna just kind of be giving his thoughts as someone who hasn't read the series, just purely talking about what the covers look like. Of the ones that I have already shown all of you, which one is your favorite? I like the Juniper books set. Yeah, those are really nice. We're gonna start with the Vietnamese one. We're only gonna be looking at Ooh. Red Rising. We're not gonna be looking at the entire trilogy for the rest of these, but this is the Vietnamese one. What is your thoughts? That's pretty cool. It kind of looks like uh, like old school sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Like that looks like it's, I don't know, out of the 80s. I think it looks a little bit like The Lion King. That too, it does kind of look like it. I actually really oh, like yeah. this cover, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the rest of the series didn't go with this at all. It looked completely different and I was like, well, so. I like it though, I like the city in the background, that's mm -hmm. cool. I think the first one looks nice. Next up we have the Subterranean Press edition. So these are still in English, but they had a limited edition, a limited amount of them. And now they are hundreds and hundreds of dollars for each one, but this is what the Red Rising oh, one yeah, looks you, like. Oh yeah, you've shown me that one, that one's cool. These Pro are That's cool. probably my, my favorite that I've seen. Yeah. They're pretty pretty nifty. They're really cool. These ones also have the benefit of the new series that's coming out, the continuation. They have special covers for those also. But I would feel bad buying the first trilogy when I'm not interested in the next trilogy because then somebody who wants all of them, like I'm taking away a set of the first ones, you know? From the cover, it looks like Poseidon is about to fight a Power Ranger, is what it looks like. <laughs> you had to say that while I was drinking. <laughs> I would love to see that fight. All right, Romanian. Looks a lot like the rest, as far as the the feather on the Red Rising cover, the feathers, the wing. Yeah, it was kind of boring. This one was listed as Iranian, and then in parentheses, other. I think it looks pretty cool. I wanted to get this edition, and I could not find it where I could get it anywhere. I, I don't know, I think they're kind of cool. I don't always love people on covers, but I like when they're, when it's an art artistic depiction of a person. 
Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like it. So we've seen these at our local bookstore, actually. Mm. These are, it just said promotional copies. I'm assuming ARC copies. Oh, okay. But I've seen them for sale at our local used bookstore before. And I know for a fact they're basically the size of a, of a trade paperback. So they're very, very small, even though I don't have any on me. Um, and I think they're kind of hard to come by. But what do you think of that? Um, I don't love the little catchphrase. When humans spread across the stars, many will fall, but some will rise. Red rising. <laughs> and the word rise is in red. It's red rise. <laughs> so this one was not listed as a promotional copy, but I think it is still a promotional copy. It's got the same look. This one's so dramatic, too. Enter the Institute, a school where failure means death. I just don't know if I'm that dramatic of a of a guy. You love the drama. You read that's to true. me passages from your books all the time, and I'm telling you, like, that's a little much for me. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, Portuguese. I I like Portuguese. Like this one. Like this one a lot. It has the the red wing theme, but the there's look. also a person on there. Mm-hmm. Helpful. I mean, the silhouette of the person is pretty basic. There's not anything mm. too interesting going on. But yeah, I like it. It's a play on the regular look that we typically see, but I think they did something a little different with it. I like this one. It says it's a Polish edition, and I've actually chatted with a couple of people via email, and I'm like, have you seen this? And they're like, no, this is what I've seen. And the other one they've seen is hideous, which we'll get to in a second. I think this one is cool. Uh... Not my favorite. Well, let's compare it to the uh, other Polish edition, shall we? I like it more than that. <laughs> I know. That, one, that one's pretty... It looks like the awful. X-Files or something. It's like, awful. It makes zero sense. This is not even close to being anything related to Red Rising, other than the title. I don't know why there's a lady on the cover. I don't know why there's a skull on the cover. I don't know what this is. I would not. Sorry, I'm kind of yelling. I don't. It looks like, like I said, the X-Files or like Bones. Or, it looks like an NBC, you know, show, drama or something. It wins for the worst cover. So this next one, it didn't list what edition it was, but we looked up the translator and then the translator for other works that said Persian. So that's what we're going with here, I suppose. Um, this one... I mean, that makes sense. It looks kind of like the other one that we saw, the Iranian, the one that was listed as Iranian. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Different. It's kind of nifty. It yeah. looks more video game-esque, mm. like mm-hmm. they're going to battle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Isn't this book just a rip on the Hunger Games? Just kidding. <laughs> just a battle royale. I don't know anything about Red Rising, actually. Okay, the Latvian one looks okay, and then I saw the second and third ones, and I thought that they were not great, so... I like his trousers. <laughs> this one, to me, looks like, for those of you that like to draw, you don't have to like to draw to have seen these. You know those sketches that show you different poses for the body, and there are little circles mm-hmm. everywhere to give you an idea of... That's what this kind of looks like yeah. to me. So... Not not my favorite. Yeah. Some of these I didn't get because I didn't want didn't them. like them. I didn't want to spend money on something that I wasn't really a fan of. That makes sense. Okay. So this one is Hungarian. I like this one. It's, this one's cool. I like this one quite a bit. Um, it's got the red wing, but very simple. The red wing doesn't have the distinction with the feathers, but I like that you can see the silhouette and the silhouette isn't just basic like the mm. other silhouette we saw this one actually kind of has something to it it looks very sci-fi-y in the symbol underneath mm-hmm. the one i like this one he's rising <laughs> up out of you know the dirt the hole he's in i mean very it's metaphorical kind of accurate see? Yeah. so this one is the hebrew edition cool That's different cool. look to it it's got more of the the wolf, the howler. Mm-hmm. Now, here's a thought, though. I don't, I'm not quite sure which one came first. I'm assuming the Hebrew one came first, but I want to compare this one to the Barnes and Noble edition because the Barnes and Noble edition, I feel like, what? a little bit ripped it off, or the Hebrew edition kind of ripped off the Barnes and Noble exclusive. So I like the Barnes and Noble one more. They have the detail around, mm-hmm. um, and then also. 
I think that the texture on the cover just stands out a little more on that one. I like the font. I know it's illustrated. Um, I wish I had this one. I'm waiting for the second and third to come out and then maybe I'll consider buying it. Because as far as I know right now, it's not available actually at the store. But of the two, which one do you like more? I think I like the, the Barnes & Noble one. It's but the same design though. I feel like the designer you know, hopefully somebody, got paid twice. That's, somebody you know. copied somebody here, I think. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's copied. I mean, it's like the same thing. I would hope that... The whole look, though, yeah. is basically the same. I mean, even the exact size of the... Mm -hmm. You know? It's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. It's different than all the other ones. All the, they're like wings. And this one's like, wolf. <laughs> I just... I have no idea what this is about anymore. I know there's Mars, <laughs> but apparently there's red birds and wolves. So now we have... It was listed, it said Greek comma modern parentheses 1453 dash that's what it was listed as so we're gonna say greek i thought this one was pretty cool another bird theme yeah it looks old which i think is kind of cool mm -hmm. but i mean yeah it's fine it's fine german the germans the, that one's pretty cool the german one is like we're we're sci-fi yeah <laughs> that's the font is really basic the imagery looks very sci-fi. I mean, it doesn't seem specific to Red Rising. I feel like you could slap that on. A lot of things, that's true. Yeah. Um, this one, some of these covers were also listed for other languages. So if you have seen this in another language, it could just be that it's it's the same one, the same way that sometimes the English one appears on a lot of them. Um, but yeah, there's the German one. It's okay. This one, it says the Estonian. I like that one. I cool. knew you would like this one. I am not the biggest fan. I think it's awesome. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's cool. <laughs> That's, I think, that the reason. I don't know what I'm looking at either. I don't know what I'm looking at either. I, li I don't know. I like the color. It's bold. I like the little pierced brown. I like it. Contender. I thought that you would like this one a lot because it looks like more old school mm -hmm. sci-fi slash. I could see this being um, like the books you just bought today. You yeah. bought some... Like, 19, what did you buy? I bought Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, those, that and Brave New World. era, mm -hmm. I don't know, it just kind of looks like that to me. Check. Same imagery that we've been seeing on most of the Red Rising ones, but with a little flair. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. Really? Yeah. I kind of like it. I like the other one. Go back to Estonia. Croatian. This one's like, this is on Mars. <laughs> That's yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's good it's to different. know. It's good to know. It's different. I'm just, is it like on fire? Is Mars on on, on fire? Bulgarian. That one's pretty cool. I like so, Bulgarian. I have to ask, are these, do these people have wings? I, I guess, I, I mean, if that's a spoiler, you can tell me, but I'm very confused by all the winged, the wing imagery. It's a lot of wings. A lot. It's like it looks Angel really cool. from X-Men. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, that's so, it. So, oh. what was your favorite? So, Subterranean Press, you really like. Really like The it. really expensive one. Yeah. I think I like Estonia and Vietnamese. I think those are my two. Which I'm sad because, like I said, I think the Vietnamese one is the one that did not did not match the oh, second and third. Gotcha. Otherwise, I would have really tried. I, I am a fan of the Barnes & Noble one. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, I do like the Barnes & Noble, especially knowing it's got some illustrations in it. I do think the subterranean press is very cool. And uh, which one is the worst? Uh, the skull NBC Polish. bones promo. Yeah, yeah, that one's so terrible. I think at some point we need we need to keep track of the worst ones so that we can make a whole video of the best worst covers. Yeah, I still don't know what's going on there. I don't it's... know. I don't think they know. I don't think they know what this <laughs> book is about. I have no idea. Anyway. That is all. I will have as much information in the description bar as possible. So hopefully if you're interested in getting any of these, you can. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which one was your least favorite. I really like a lot of these. I like the ones that I own. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Just a reminder again that there is a discount code for the Juniper Books editions, both for these and for Shades of Magic that Sean is currently covering up. There they are. So I'll have that in the description bar as well as a bunch of other information. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and we'll see you later. Bye.